Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Monday's edition of Elevenses. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. The weather is lovely and sunny and bright, which is makes a change, really, after all the dreary rain. It did cheer up yesterday, didn't it? After the initial deluge mm. in the morning. Yeah, it got better. I like it when winter morning's like this. Thank you for your prayers about yesterday as well. Um, not only did we have a good service, um, so thank you for coming down if you came down. Uh, if you didn't, you can catch up uh, on Facebook, although there are um, issues with the microphone for the yeah. uh, for the sermon and, and for the... Problem with the sound, which yeah, is a shame. Just from the computer at the back. Anyway, but you can still just about hear it. Just going to have to strain your hearing. So sorry about that, but um, we had a really fantastic youth event last night. It went really, really well. So thank you for your prayers with that. Um, it was really great. So um, we're going to be doing that every two weeks. We're going to be meeting at six o'clock on a Sunday evening uh, for food, uh, videos, games, and a chat um, with the young people. It's year seven to 11. So if you know anyone, if you're neighbors, got people you want to, to invite or uh, nephews and nieces, or cousins or anybody living around, then bring them along. Yeah, help them come. That'd You're be very great. welcome. Absolutely. Just snow or just turn up and uh, we'll be there. But yes, no, it was good fun, wasn't it? No, it was really good. Yeah. Um, so Hannah's just going to pray for us. Then we're going to hand over to Rod, uh, who's going to talk about uh, our psalm this morning. Which psalm I think it's psalm 17. 17. Yeah. Father, thank you uh, for being here with us online and in person. Father, I just pray that you would... Uh, Help each one of us with the week ahead and all that that entails. We can't see the end of the week from now, um, but just pray that you would be there in all the tiny little details and we'd look back and realise just how much you've worked uh, over the seven days, Lord. Uh, we just pray that uh, we'd all uh, be able to take something from uh, Rod's chat now. Amen. 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 So without further ado, here is Rod. There is not. I'll try that again. We'll be done with Rod. <laughs> There's Rod gone. Well, thank you, Jonathan and Hannah. Good morning, everyone. On this so-called Blue Monday, when people are supposed to be at our lowest, going to work in the dark, it's sometimes comforting to see how our heroes are coping with it. I'm impressed, for example, by Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola, who has been so successful over the years, winning football trophies. Over Christmas, he was quoted saying his players have to stretch their limits in the midst of a hectic, festive period in the Premier League. It's good, it's historic, he said. I like to play in the winter during this period. My words are not going to change anything. When you have just two days rest in the Christmas time and New Year, there's no time for players to recover. We discuss this every year and nothing changes. So we adapt, adjust and pray the players will not get injured. The players have the ability to stretch their limits as much as possible. That's what they have to do. Well, even a manager with seemingly limitless resources finds there are limits to adapting and adjusting. And what's left? We pray it will turn out all right. People instinctively understand the value of prayer, even if it is a last resort when all else fails. But what is happening when we pray? And why do we find it hard to do? Psalm 17 is entitled A Prayer of David, the first of five psalms with that heading although we've seen how most of the psalms can be described as prayers. It seems to have been forged in troubled circumstances, and yet implies a secure relationship with the God he prays to. Let me read Psalm 17 from verses 1 to 7. Hear me, Lord, my plea is just. Listen to my cry. Hear my prayer, it does not rise from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. 
though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me, you will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed. Though people tried to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent, through what your lips have commanded. My steps have held to your paths. My feet have not stumbled. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Well, there's an honesty in this prayer. David has nothing to hide. He opens himself up to God's scrutiny. His view of the world is one that is harsh and unforgiving, where people go astray and have to be corrected. And he calls on God in his prayer in three ways. Firstly, he says, hear me. Listen to my cry. He's on an urgent quest. His name near, needs to be cleared in the courtroom of public opinion. And then secondly, test me. Probe my heart. Examine me. David desires personal integrity, not pretending he is perfect, but that he is innocent as charged by the others. He invites God to search his heart. Speak to me in the dream of sleepless thoughts. And after hearing him and testing him, thirdly, love me. David wants more than rescuing from his latest predicament. He wants what traditional translations called loving kindness, that confident, steadfast love which God initiates in his covenant promises to us. David seems to have a great, seems to be a great prayer. And compared to him, we often struggle to carve out of our day some time and space to pray. Well, I do anyway. So what can we do when we find it hard to pray, reluctant to open our heart to God like this? One suggestion is that we make a daily appointment with God, like any other appointment, decided in advance and put in your diary. Too often we put off prayer until we feel like it, when we need to get beyond needing to feel like praying. Indeed, we recognise that sometimes prayer is an act of will rather than preference, like anything else in our relationships. Then start by looking at a piece of scripture, whether that's a psalm like this, or really any part of the Bible. Yes, this may mean we have to prepare in advance, or have a list or a guidebook with suggestions of passages to use. You can also have a list of subjects for prayer. I have a little collection of prayer guides and diaries I use close to hand. Another suggestion is to pray out loud, which seems to give more intensity to our prayers. Why not try it by reading this psalm out loud, for example? A common problem we have is our wandering thoughts, getting distracted. But we don't have to fight these, but rather use your distractions. Pray about them too. Use them as prompts to get you back on track. And after everything, give thanks to God for all he is and all he has done. I often find I only feel like praying after I've prayed, not before. And my most effective prayers seem to come when it's against my inclination to pray. You can join us on Zoom for our church prayer meeting every Tuesday, 7.30 till 8.30 in the evening, 
We'd love to see you and share our prayers together. Don't wait until you have exhausted all the other options. Show us the wonders of your great love, you who save those who take refuge in you. Amen. We'll have a great, great prayerful week. And now back to Hannah and Jonathan. So we're back again. Hannah will be appearing with our errant son, um, whose entire class is off. Yes. But for some reason he is not. He's escaped. Uh, still no. uh, testing no. positive, even though we did two tests, one this morning and one this evening. One this evening. Um, Asa, whatever you do, just Thanks. behave yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay, we've got um, some options with songs. We've stuck um, some uh, brilliant at least a couple of you have seen the poll. We've put it on a poll. You should see it actually come up. If you see it on your phone, you should see it come up. See it on your computer if you're watching this, it should come up as well. Fantastic. We've already got uh, three votes for I Speak Jesus. So um, we will do, definitely do I Speak Jesus. Uh, oh, somebody's just taken it off. What? You can't change, change your mind. Their mind. That's oh. disgraceful. Um, but uh, thank you, Asa. Thank you. Inappropriate behaviour. So we are, are going to go with that. Are we going to go with the, what, the majority vote? Uh, we're definitely going to do that, but, but please do vote for one other as well. So I Speak Jesus, we can play if that's got a couple of votes. I'm waiting here for you, somebody wanted as well. So those are the two we're doing, unless you uh, vote for something else. Um, so I don't know how you are today in terms of uh, prayer. We've had a comment from Carol and Hannah about prayer this morning. It is really tough sometimes, isn't it? I mean, Rod likes to put it in his diary. What do you like to do? Do you like have a regular time? Um, putting things in my diary normally uh, guarantee sort of official meeting things for yeah. me rather than sort of personal things. I think it's how you... like it work, Different methods work for different people, don't they? And you see, for me, that then becomes like a stress point and not something that is enjoyable because then it feels like another thing to do rather than something that should flow naturally for me but I think for me I find when I go to the gym that's when I pray the most that's because that's time when you go to the gym yeah because for me it's time away from all the noise of family life and it's quite it, that's literally a quiet time for me so for me that's when I probably have the, the best chats with God who would have thought it eh? so last year you didn't pray at all then. <laughs> Or outside, having a run or a walk. You're so rude. Or a walk. So, yeah, that's but like the making, best time. Making lists for me is really good. So mm. if I've got something on a list, um, then I sort of get through it. But prayer, I don't know whether I would put prayer on a list, really. Isn't that interesting? So we were just talking about, well, it's one of the things. Yeah. No. no, not just yet, Asa. It's one of the things that, that um, we nearly talked mm. about yesterday. We didn't quite get time in the sermon was prayer. And the fact that in the busiest part of his day in Mark, Jesus actually went to talk to his father. And he went very early in the morning after he'd been up very late at night. But that's how important yeah. prayer was to him. And so prayer is really, really important. And yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Right, we're going to get on with some songs, I think, um, as Asa is now with us, which is just such a joy. So this is I Speak Jesus. And if you want to keep voting, then keep voting as well for for other things um just apologies for um text in the moment for whatever reason obs seems to um be having kittens when it, re when it comes to <laughs> lyrics so the lyrics we can't actually control at the moment uh they just are there so there we go uh, anyway this is i speak jesus you'll be able to hear it if nothing else so here we go this is i speak jesus
Shine through 
This is waiting here for you. Oh 
that's all for this morning um, just to remind you to um, if you're around tomorrow at 10 30 place of welcome is on the church free teas coffees possibly homo cakes possibly cake definitely biscuits we've still got some mince pies left over i think as well not sure about them. avoid those um, fresh cake though i'll have to do some fresh cake now in time yeah, wednesday so toddlers 10 o'clock uh nought fours um, and we have a new group opening up on Thursday. That's the Girling Fellowship Group. So if you want a Zoom link to that, um, then uh, let us know, just message us. And uh, if you're not in Claire's group, then please do come along. Um, we'd love to see you. Uh, we're studying Ruth uh, for the next uh, six sessions. Um, so please come along and, uh, and enjoy. That'd be really lovely to see you. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on Friday again for another 11 Z's. There's also a prayer meeting on Tuesday. Yeah, there is, yeah. That's at 7.30. 7.30, yeah, yes. I have got that right. So we've got anything um, else? We always miss out things. I'm sure we've missed something out. Anyway, the notices were on the screen. I'll try and send them out later as well with the links to uh, the service and also the 11 Z's last week. So have a fantastic day and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.